Hello everyone, this is Zayda Golami from Agrimet Self Research Lab and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to run an F test in Excel. So you can see I have two sets of data. I have grades of students in class A and class B. And what I want to do here is to run an F test to see whether the variances of these two classes are significantly different or not. So we need this F test to see are the variances different or not. If you remember, we run T test to see um, if the mean of two populations are significantly different or not. For running the t-test, we should know that the variances are different or are equal. So before running the t-test, it is recommended to run an f-test so that you can choose the right um, option in t-test. Besides that, the f-test is used in, uh, in ANOVA analysis. So in ANOVA analysis, what you want to do is to analyze the difference of the variances, analyze the uh, inequality of the variances. And for, the, for, for that sake, you need an F-test. Okay, so let's run an F-test in here. For running an F-test, you need to go to data tool, data um, tab and then open data analysis if you cannot see it right here go to file options and in add-ins the manage button should be in excel add-ins okay click on go and then check the analysis to the back and click ok as soon as you have done that you can see the data analysis I click on that and then you can see F test to sample for variances. A tip in here, this is a, a one-tailed test. So in data analysis, you cannot find F test uh, with two-tailed, okay? You have one tail only. Before running the test in for data analysis, what we recommend to do is to calculate the variances. So I go in here, I click equal mark variance for sample. I double click and select the whole data. And you can see the variance in here is 28.99. And I want the variance also for class number B. You can see the variance in here is higher. In here, when we have calculated the variances, we make an hypothesis. The hypothesis in here is that the null hypothesis is that the variance for A is equal to variance for B. Okay? And the alternative one, when we have calculated the variance, the alternative one is that the variance for B is significantly higher than variance for A. So that's our hypothesis that we want to test against. And uh, these are the null and alternative hypothesis. So you can see, you can see clearly that this is a one-tailed test. So let's go to in data, data analysis, and F test to sample for variances. I click OK. And then the variable one in here would be the one with higher variance. So I select the um, class B as the first variable. And I select class A as second variable. So then you can see 
it says do you want to include the labels i i think i have not included so i again do that i forgot yeah now i can check labels and then the alpha in here is five percent is it's okay for me if you want to uh, do hypothesis testing in other alpha levels you can change it of, of course then you can see in output options it says where do you want to print out the outputs i want to i want the results to be printed in here starting from here i click ok and then you can see my results is shown in here so if there's two sample for variances as i said before this is a one tailed test and these are the hypotheses so the mean is the normal average of these data variance is the exact same thing that we have calculated we can have average also so that you can see it's the simple um average so you can see these are the average numbers and then there's observations and degree of freedom which is observation number mm, minus one and then here is f statistic you can uh, compare the f statistic towards f critical for one tail in here the test is something like this so you have the distribution like this and then we want to see um, so f critical for one tail is 2.16 so this is zero and then we have f critical as one two let's say and here is 2.16 that's the f critical and we have the one tail so we do not care about this the side in here and then we have f statistic as 1.05 so it drops somewhere in here this is f critical we know that if the f statistic falls in this area this zone is is the null hypothesis zone so you cannot reject the null hypothesis you do not have enough evidence in order to reject the null hypothesis so you should accept the null hypothesis and um, I, I said before that in here it doesn't mean that you can accept it um, actually it means that you cannot reject it you do not have enough evidence to reject the null hypothesis and if the f statistic falls in here it means that you should reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative one in here the results of our test is that the variances do not have meaningful differences um, so we can um, we cannot reject the null hypothesis and then you also can see in here the p-value so the p-value for one tail in here is 0 0.45 so you should also you can so that's another way in order to have the result in order to interpret the this test a p-value for one tail in here is 0 0.45 you should compare it to five percent why because our alpha value was five percent so you could see that this is too much bigger than alpha so when it's uh, bigger than alpha we cannot also reject the null hypothesis if this is 
smaller than alpha, we could reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative one. So I guess that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something new. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Agnitsov channel. I have made a lot more videos about t-test, about ANOVA test, and all these uh, z-test and all these related ones uh, in Excel. You can check them out in the videos in Agnitsov YouTube channel. And if you've liked them, I will be happy in order uh, if you can enjoy us in this community. So I will see you in the next videos and bye.